Now before we start, let's actually all hydrate for a second. Take a sip everyone, because this build is gonna be watery. The queen of intros has struck again. Woo. Nope. Hey hey, and welcome to this video. My name is Nina and today we're dealing with a little bit of a struggle, even more than usual, because um, as you saw in the little 10 second clip, I did decorate something yesterday, or I was planning to film something yesterday, which is um, I decorated Marshall's yard and when I got to finish it, which was four hours into the recording, I noticed that all my footage was completely broken. So the 10 seconds that you saw in the beginning were everything that I could use. <gasps> everything else is extremely choppy. So I really hope that this is going to work. I thought I would just show you now because it, I mean, it's not that spectacular. It's just a villager yard. And I initially wanted this to be Marshall's little raindrop farm kind of to go with the whole theme of the fairies having jobs so I thought because fairies are magical creatures they might even be able to take care of some weather elements so I thought that Marshall could like harvest some baby raindrops and like nurture them kind of so that they can then become real raindrops this basically just became a very water themed build so I didn't even know what I would title it anyways here you can see it it's right next to our sunken waterfalls and and forest so lots of watery elements but that's basically it so that was just a quick update but now we are actually sticking with that whole theme and we are going to be decorating Kelly's villager yard today because I recently decorated this little area which is our animal or wildlife sanctuary then we have Kelly's yard back here who is the caretaker of all of the animals that live on our island yeah so I thought it would be just a very chill video to decorate this so so yeah, let's just hop right into it. Oh, also this apple tree is absolutely not gonna stay here. Ooh, and maybe would it be cool to have like a little table setup? Because we all know I love table setups. But like Alice in Wonderland inspired table setup, which so many people have already done, I know that. I think it would go very well with our whole animal sanctuary theme. Okay, I think I don't wanna have blankets underneath. Or maybe just underneath the one that's in the back here. I think I want this to be layered here. Wait, where's my diagonal blanket? I I was about to say it. If I lost that bitch, my island would not be anything. Oh look, I kind of like this layering. Okay, and I think I want this one to be the wooden one. And then the one in front to be the green one. Because I think I don't like the green on green. Like having that right in front of Kelly's very green house. I think I want it to be a bit more balanced. So this one will go right here. Ooh. Can we push that? No, can we pull that? Ooh, I think I like it that way. Ooh, look at the beautiful butterfly back there. Hello. Oh. I thought he was coming towards me to say hi, but guess not, babe. Guess not. Okay, so we will just fill this up with some moss. Because, again, this is supposed to be very tucked away in the forest. So we like ourselves some moss, you know? Okay. Hold up. Okay, no. Should we have the mush table here yeah maybe it maybe it works that way because i feel like the log table is a bit shorter than wait where's it i just lost it in my own pockets it's almost like it's my own purse always lose things in there and in, in, in german we have like the saying that your purse has a basement and i really feel that i feel that on so many levels nice shot hmm this is very difficult <laughs> i can't decide we will just use this one and it will be a very green area but I like that. I like green. And then we will just have a little veggie patch here and we will still throw all of the animals somewhere. Um, if you have any pets, don't throw them. Just don't. You know what I could do though? <laughs> I'm so smart. We could use this as like a second second table. <gasps> Would that be cute? Yeah. Hmm. Have it this way maybe. Oh, no. No. Okay. And then just some, some flowers and bushes back there. I think I need something blue here. Okay. Okay, let me fetch some bushes. Okay. Like how that's looking. 
Yeah, I think that's looking quite cute. Can I push this? Push this, yeah. Can I push this? Pulls the cushion. <laughs> Am I concerned? Maybe slightly. Maybe slightly. I think actually... I want it to be this way. What can we put here? Yeah, perfect. Because then if we bring in the orange there, we can include it in the veggie patch as well. Okay, so let's work on the table first before we completely block everything off. Oh no, I think I want the cake on this little... Because I think it has the perfect... Are you kidding me? Honey, no. <laughs> What's going on? What? I can't put that on there? Yeah, I was about to say, what the... Ooh, that's kind of cute, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's a cute table setup. And uh, maybe we can have the little Zen cushion with a with the coffee cup, maybe. Okay, and then we need something yellow here. Then we will put the cushion that we had earlier. The weed in front of it so that it won't be completely hidden. Oh my goodness. Come on. Thank you. No, you just need to get aggressive with them. Okay, so maybe a large mush platform back here to have a nice little background. And also then that would tie in very, very nicely with the sunken forest to the right because we have many mush items there. So I think that would continue the whole theme that we have going on because, yeah, well, we also have a mush table and a little like a small mush platform there. So I think it will look good. We kind of mirror that over here and it also brings in the blue then. Yeah. Maybe we can have another small mush platform here with a bush behind it and maybe some flowers around it also. Okay, so we want the small mush platform here. Yeah, I think that's cute. Or we could do that behind that cedar tree. Like the, I, I'm talking about the fairy house, by the way. <laughs> I think I want that behind the pear tree. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Mm hmm. I kind of like that. I also kind of like how that's peeking through behind Ellie's house and it's hiding it a lot better, even from this angle. Yeah, okay. So we have a winner. Okay, so let's do the little veggie patch. I think I want to go with the light dirt for this one. And I never round my corners when I do vegetable patches or, or something like that. So I think it looks a little bit weird, but I don't know. I think it just looks off because then the plants are kind of growing over the round corner and are like halfway on the round corner and halfway not. So I think that's just a little bit, a little bit strange, you know. Okay, so I definitely want to include the scarecrow. Actually, I think I will just do a straight up square. I like this little rectangle. Then we can maybe even have like a, the tiniest sitting spot with like a stool and a bucket. So it looks like someone was munching on the crops that they just harvested. I think that would be a cute idea. Okay, so let's work on the actual veggie patch. Okay. I think I want another bush here, just to block this, block off the area a bit better. Oh, now they are different dirt color. Hold up, no, 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 this is not gonna work. Like, why can't they just grow on white, on, on white dirt? Why can't they, imagine we had white dirt, how weird would that look? <laughs> like snow, just straight up snow in the summer. I mean, it, w it, it would be a statement, you know? It would be a statement I would definitely appreciate because I'm very much of a winter person. I don't love the summer too much. It's just, I don't like when everything is just warm and everyone is just sticky and sweaty and no, I don't, I don't like that. <laughs> Actually, let's do one orange one. And then this one will be yellow. Or it can be a bush. I think it will be a bush. And this one can be yellow. Or should we have that overgrow and then put some dark dirt underneath so that it doesn't look as lost, you know? This will be a weed or a flower. This will be a flower. This will be a weed. Okay, I know, I know what I'm doing. I definitely do. Don't question me. So flower here. I keep saying flower here and I don't have any flowers on me, so I love that. 
Okay, I think I want an item here on top of the, what I always used to call tissue. And now some of you educated me that these are undies. Like, do I really have knickers all over my island? No comment. No comment. I'm thinking we need something where I can have the cutting board on top and then I want to place a watering can on here. Ooh, the pile of zen cushions might work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And then a tiny item here, I think. We will just use the grass path again because I'm obsessed with it. And flower here, weed here. Okay, so let me actually grab some flowers before I forget where where I wanted to put all of them. So let's see how many spots we can fill up with these white ones and then I might need to go and grab some more yellow flowers and some blue ones. I definitely need to steal some blue ones from somewhere. Oh, hello! Diana, what did you say to her? Oh, even though... <laughs> Even though I try to do the right thing, I will make everything worse. What did she say? Oh no. Diana, you're such a bitch. I hate you. No, I don't want to talk to you. I want to hit you. Bitch. <laughs> Ooh, should we steal this little tree and incorporate it? Yes. Ooh, I kind of like it. I kind of do like it. And it also ties in the cedars, the cedar trees. I, I like that. Mm -hmm. That's cute, but we do still need an item for here and we need to fill up this space So I think this one right here. Oh, maybe we can have this one here Then a weed in front of it Oh good god help me through this crisis Thank you. Look at me even being picky which custom designs I stick behind a house that no one will ever see because this will be blocked off by the bush and the mush platform, but you know, details do matter. And then maybe we can have the fruit basket here. Even though that's a bit colorful for my liking, but I think it fits this, this theme. Mm. And then I want another bush here. And here. Mm. Or I could put the barrel here, but I'm not sure if that will block off the view too much. Mm. No, I don't like that. Maybe just a small item. Oh, the classic picture could look cute. Yeah, that's a cute little detail. It's not too distracting, I think. Oh, and maybe we can add the little shoes that I just grabbed from Olive's yard. Do I have them in front of here? So that you can't see them as much, but they do add a tiny detail. Because, you, I mean, you can see them and I kind of like how they look there. Okay, so now I will just, yeah, let me just fetch the last two or three flowers and then I think we're already done. This is quite a, a quick build, at least for me. For you, it will probably not make any difference because it will probably be just as long as all of my other builds. But for me, it's half the time that I usually take. I'm very proud of myself. That's a win. So yeah, let me just fetch the last couple of flowers and then I will come back to you guys to give you the final tour where we won't be able to move around that much but the final the final view of everything am i stupid did i really pick up the pipe and now i can't leave my house look at marshall though <gasps> Alrighty, so here we have it. This is the finished product. I really like it. It's a cute little build. It was a fun time and it's not as grand as, as like some of my builds, but I still like it. We have this cute little table set up, which I really adore because I like how mismatched it is even more than I usually mismatch my things. But still, all the colors are brought in here and yeah, it still feels very cohesive. Also with this little pumpkin patch that we have here off to the right and then I also added this very very tiny little picnic spot which I also really like. So look at Callie greeting us. Hey honey, are you going to eat some pumpkins? Alrighty, so I think this shall be it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here and yeah, take care of yourself. Until next time and bye bye!